Hello, my name is Ryan Tabor, and I'm a solutions consultant with Beyond20. Today I'll be discussing a method to update a shared field in a group object. So group fields are useful to simultaneously add information across multiple business objects. New objects added to a group will automatically inherit the attributes of that field. Modifying one of the child objects, however, does not apply to the group as a whole and can make batch editing extremely difficult. So to demonstrate this, I have added a field to the group header called additional notes, size of text 50, and I can see that on one of my group members, if I go to the field, I see the same attributes. General edits, such as text size, can be edited on a child object and have it apply to all members and the group header. So let's see that. If I change the size to 100 and update, going to the group header, I can see that the field attributes have changed to be text size 100. However, more complicated edits will not be pushed out to group members. So for instance, I will change the validation on one of the group members. So if for some reason I wish to add validation to my additional notes field, I will make it validate from a simple list with options A, B, and C. If I update this child object, I will see that the validation was not pushed to other group members or the group leader. If I wish to do this, one way to get this to update is to go to each individual object and manually update the validation. This, however, is extremely slow as I would have to add the validation A, B, C, or if I was validating from a lookup table, I'd have to manually go into each one of these records and select the table and then update. There is a much faster way to do this using the group properties of the field. Using the group properties of the field. So selecting field properties, go to the field that you're interested in populating to the rest of the group members. Go to the group tab and you'll see that by default this is shared with all group members because it was added from the group header level. So first remove the definition from these other group members by selecting just this group member and select OK. Update your blueprint and then select field properties again. Go to group and check all group members. This removes the definition from all group members and then re-adds it again with the new validation. Our new validation is there. And you can also see that it was added to the group header, so new objects added to the specifics group will include the attribute additional notes with a validated selection. Something else to point out is that if this field was associated with if this field was associated with if this field was associated with a display on the form, because the rec IDs will be the same and they're just being and they're being pushed and they are being repopulated to the group members from the same definition, you will not need to re-add these to the form. It's also important to realize something, el something else to bear in mind is that the form definition for this field will be preserved because it is added using the same rec ID. You will not need to update the form to include the field. And that is how you maintain group fields within a group object. Thank you very much, and I will see you next time.